फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ द ग्रेट मैन मस्ट एंड ऑन द सेम नोट एज द लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ द लिस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ऑफ मैन वी मस्ट कम इन आवर रीडिंग टू द पॉइंट वेयर द ग्रेट मैन गिवस अप हिज वर्क लिविंग इट टू अदर्स टू कैरी ओन वट ही हैज बेगन हिज लाइफ विद ओल its wonderful interest is past and we who read are left with the memory of his life and with the results of his work we know that this must be so but we do not always like a thing better because we know that it is certainly waiting for us and it is not surprising to find that there are people who can take no pleasure in this form of reading because they know from the outset what the end must be it is however no more profitable to run away to turn our face from facts in reading than it is in life itself and it is better to take the wider view and to read for the pleasure and the profit to be found in the consideration of the whole life with its many difficulties and its many successes in this way we can find both comfort and help for ourselves whose lives may seem without set purpose to have little value we discover perhaps that some person whose name has been to us like a great white light far away beyond our touch that that person met in his early days with many of the same difficulties which we are facing now that he like us had no special advantages no clearly marked course to follow like us he had to make his own way step by step learning as he went we find for example that one man who became world known began his working life as a teacher helping his brother in a small country school another worked on a farm and a third made his first special observation while holding a small and not important position on a ship which was making its way to the south seas but these men did not wait for opportunity to come to them they took immediate advantage of their conditions to make their own opportunity in the book which we have specially in mind we find that in most cases the man's work was valued during his lifetime but the world is not always ready to take new ideas warmly to its heart in every age there are those who feel certain that there is nothing left for man to discover there are others who see in the new idea a danger to their own special interests it is not always easy to look at something new with clear eyes to judge truly the value either of our own work or the work of others we find ourselves thinking that because a thing has always been done in such and such a way in the past then that must be the best possible way for it to be done or because a certain thing 
has not been done before then it should not be done now we have to keep a careful watch upon ourselves in this respect and try to keep an open mind if we try new methods in our own work we shall sometimes be wrong possibly we shall often be wrong but sometimes we shall meet with success which makes worthwhile all our earlier labors probably no more than one or two men out of all the millions living today can hope to do something so important that it will influence world thought and world action throughout the age to come but the methods which have served the great men of any age and helped them in their great work have value for us today in our less important work by marking the course taken by those who have been successful in their special fields we can learn better how to deal with our own situation our own difficulties in the field of thought and of action in which we are ourselves most interested stop